Evening guys, I uh, just want to talk about taking things seriously. Um, I was chatting with Arif earlier today. Um, now, although Arif and me know what we were talking about, this is why I generally don't, don't mention people on YouTube because it then confuses, because the first question is, A, what was I talking about, and B, who is Arif? So, I just want to bring out that first, th this conversation out today, and it was relating to business. Um, one of the things I want to say about business is we're talking about training courses and one of the key elements to training courses is there's a decision whether the company's putting you on it and the second one is it worth your time. What am I talking about? I've mentioned before about the uh, uh, what was it the the one one of the ones Carillion wasted my time with was accounting for non-account managers because I ended up doing this in my spare time because they 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 put a timeline that you must do it but you're already busy doing other stuff anyway you you know you're looking at a 55 60 hour schedule and then they go oh you must do this and the whole reason they want to do that is because they have an overspend with the tax man due to poor accountancy um, which is not my obligation, but it's down to a lot of managers not doing their paperwork properly. That, for me, is a waste of my time. Um, my accounts are right. I am, um, if anything, they're probably more swayed in the fact that um, I monitor my accounts <laughs> very well. Um, it's one of the things I will be honest with. I'm pretty tight on that. You know, I, when a company says, we'll just stick it on your credit card and we'll bill it, give you it back at the end of the month, I'm more like, I'd rather do without. Because me giving it to you on my credit card is me offering you credit and I didn't agree to that. It's not my problem, it's your problem for not giving me a business card. That, that's, that's my viewpoint on this sort of stuff. So, one of the important things on this is when you get training courses, because uh, this is one of the things we're talking about today, is it beneficial to you or is it beneficial to the business? Because if you're like myself, you've been in the business a long period of time and if it hasn't got any benefit to you personally, why bother? I know some people go, that's the wrong attitude. Well, it's not that. It's a case of, I specialize in asset management. Um, with Carillion, they put me on this uh, training course for um, for air conditioning because it benefited Carillion. It didn't benefit me because their decision was, um, although they'd hired me to do um, predominantly the management of, because I was hired as a engineering manager, um, because they didn't develop the role properly, they decided well. We'll put you on surveying, and then this other role, if you do this training course, we will get you to do the um, surveys relating to specialist air conditioning. I, I just turn around and said, well, no, there's no benefit to me. Um, and they're sort of like, oh, what, what, what do you mean? I said, well, this rate that you're, the training course, it, it increased my day rate by about 50% if they needed an external contractor. And although they had thrown a couple of thousand pounds at my training, the reality is they would get the money back on the first two days I assessed the building from them for them um, because they weren't paying a contractor to do it. There was no financial incentive to me. In fact, it was actually the reverse because there was only myself and another person, um, I won't mention his name because he hasn't approved me to do so, but there's only me and him that actually had this qualification within the business, which meant we had to do all that for the whole business, which meant we were sort of being downgraded, could have benefited the company, which is zero benefit to us. Um, now, as an external contractor, it was worthwhile, but within a business, no. There's no financial benefit, but as a external contractor, you could charge eight hundred pounds a day because it's a fairly skilled thing to do, and it's a legal requirement. It's something that's going to be done every five years. Um, but you have to make that decision: is it beneficial to you or not? Because if you're going to be 
in a company where you're penalized because you're smarter than everybody else or got specific skills that you've been given because the village idiot that sits aside you gets promoted because he has no skills whatsoever where you're not going to get promoted because you have a set of skills that they can utilize elsewhere but they promote you they will lose it because you won't actually go out and do it because you're above that pay grade if it makes sense um, and many corporations will penalize people for being smarter than the village idiot and I do say village idiot because some of these are um, they're not competent people, they're idiots um, the level of incompetence the, the phrase I use quite common is your level of incompetence astounds me and I do actually say it to people's faces because quite simply it annoys me that these people are given priority over getting a better job because you're penalized for being smarter than them, more competent etc and I've seen people go all the way to the top in companies purely because they just, they're just nodding dogs um, and the first thing they do is delegate to people that actually know what they're doing and they dump it on other people and I'll be honest with you in British business is very common um, and it's probably one of the reasons the UK is not where it should be on the world map because other people are riding other, on the coats of other people um, now the other side of this being is doing courses that benefit you because all the time the companies don't want to pay any more anyway that uh, we this is what we were talking about today um, the fact is many companies look for the best people they don't want to pay for the best people so what happens is if you are already paying for a university degree that in reality the company should be helping you fund and instead they wait till you finish and you've got all that university debt and then offer you a lower grade salary to come in at the bottom and work your way up and then slowly work up your debt when in reality you're probably better educated than some of the people at the top um, I know with a lot of people I work with the degrees that they have are completely irrelevant to the industry but there's an obsession with degrees in the UK even if they have nothing to do with the business you're in um, having a sociology degree, degree in fun, in accounting in um, financial management and stuff like that is absolutely a waste of time that's, that's what I'm talking about but at the same time you may actually get a better pay grade simply because you have a degree in something that's completely irrelevant and has no impact on the business whatsoever in a positive way in a negative way you actually get paid more regardless of your incompetence level um, so the point being is when you get these training courses you have to make a decision is it going to be beneficial to the company or is it beneficial to you because if it's beneficial to you then it may be worth doing but if you become the expert on something within a business and it's only recognized in the sense that they can offload all this uh, compliance or whatever to you because quite simply there's only two people in the business that can do it and you're one of them and it has no financial incentive anything, if anything is going to restrict your promotion I'd avoid doing it like the plague um, I would recommend doing a different training course um, some of these training courses are more beneficial than others doing that one like I was saying with the air conditioning is very specific it's a very niche one there is a five year requirement, it's a legal requirement involving the um, land register and other bits and pieces. You may be better off doing something like uh, a management course or getting your degree in management where the company won't pay for it. Most of them won't pay for it, I'll tell you that now. They don't want to pay for it. I often find that in these companies they don't want the competition. They don't want somebody that they know is up and coming, smarter than them, faster than them, do a better job, etc. And then suddenly find that they've just upgraded their skills. But once you upgrade your skills, look for a job in another business. Because you'll find that other companies will quite happily snap you up because, as I said earlier, they don't invest in training. 
So when you've turned around and got this extra training in, like say for example you did um, something on like Biffum. Biffum's a bit of a British Institute of Facilities Management. If you went and got one of their diplomas or something, you may find it opens up other opportunities in another job, but you may not get it in the company you're in. If you want to get promoted faster, hop companies. That is the way it is in the UK, whether people like it or not, or businesses don't like it or not, it's irrelevant. At the end of the day, one thing I have learned over the last 25 years in facilities and construction is the only thing the companies look out for is themselves. And if you ain't looking out for yourself, then nobody else will. Um, sounds a bit blunt, but at the same time, this is what the important message is here. Look after yourself. Doesn't mean jeopardize your network, doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. It means that you recognize the fact that somebody's selling you something, you did a great job and whatever, and you invest in your own training, they want to use it and don't pay any extra for it. If you want to sit there for the next 20 years, go ahead. But if you're switched on, move on because another company will snap you up because you're offering a better, better value for money. Because at the end of the day, you've got more skills that the new company will want to pay for, where the existing company hired you as at this level and don't want to pay for this. They want it for free because you've invested in it, but they haven't. But they want to utilize it. And if they can get away with it, they will do. And I, that's all I can say on this. Invest in yourself, but do not turn around and assume anybody else will look after you in the same way somebody like I would. Because I, I, I've got to admit, I am one of those people that value people on their ability above everything else. I don't care about degrees, I don't care what they did the last 10 years, it's what they can deliver. Um, but I've, I've had uh, contracts where I've had people start on Monday and finish by Wednesday because they can't keep up with it. But the whole point is they will get the same respect and everything else as everybody else. It's up to them to keep up with the game. If they can't do that, they've had the opportunity. But I won't deduct the money purely because I can think there's an opportunity in there. I'm more a case of if you want to run with the wolves, you, you turn around and keep up. If you can't keep up with the pack, that's, that's life. Um, so, yeah, take business seriously. Don't assume everybody's going to give you options and look after you and everything else, because they don't. Um, you need to look after yourself and work it in a very developing way. Develop your network, expand your network. When you see other people that are going up the ladder or sideways or whatever, keep in contact with them. I often call people up out of the blue just to simply talk to them and see how their life's going and whatever, because they, they appreciate it, because most people don't bother. Um, there was a project the last few weeks I've been helping support, and the sales guy is ignored me the last couple of days. I know he's ignored me because they, they've got what they wanted, and for me, that's fine. That's, that's up to him. But what we will, will miss out on is the fact that in future opportunities when they want my my help to do something, um, I wouldn't say I would hinder it, but I'll completely ignore it. Uh, thanks for watching.